Let's show now how to add or remove subjects after you've already set up your spreadsheet with all your data and your statistics in it um, so that you can update your statistics without needing to re-enter them or recalculate things with a bunch of manual typing. Click in the middle of the data for the group where I'm trying to insert and I'm gonna right click it and hit insert. That gives me another row of data. Right, so let's just pick one of our subjects here and you know duplicate them and pretend that that duplication is a new subject just so you can see how to add it. So we've already added in our, our row. Let's copy, um, we'll do subject nine here. So I highlighted the whole row. I'm gonna copy the whole row. So I just hit control C and I'm gonna paste them into this new row. So you're gonna notice that these values down here change. So it updated the values to this new subject, right? So this you know, new number nine here. Um, so you know, call this you know, new, new nine, right? So this is not an actual subject, but this is how you would add another subject. So if they were in the other group, you would do the same thing. So let's insert here and let's uh, let's duplicate number 21's data right here as our new 21, so our new subject. So just to keep this straight. So we added a subject here, we added a subject here, and it would have updated all of these formulas because we added the subject within the data set and we didn't add it to the, the end or the beginning, right? So if we add it to the end of the beginning, the uh, averages and these maximum minimums, all these statistics we calculated might not have accounted for it. It might not have stretched that uh, that those uh, that range in order to account for that. But notice here, it did stretch it. So it's now calculating based on these new data sets. If we were to, as an example, click here and say we wanted to add a data, uh, a, a new subject there, um, let's copy 23 and put it there and just again to keep things straight here it's the new 23 um, let's look down here at our average value did it stretch it it didn't right so we added it to the bottom now the formula does not include it so I would have to go to each one of these formulas and modify it to deal with our new subject that we just added so I'm just going to undo that and so again, if you add it at the bottom, um, I'm not sure what happens at the top, but if you add it at the bottom, it is not gonna stretch the formula the way you want it to. So always add it within the data, and you can sort these later on based on participant number, or however you wanna sort them in order to you know get them in whatever order you want. But you need to add it within the data, within the group, in order to stretch the formulas. All right, so, let me just delete this for now so it's not messed up anymore. So let's just double check that. Yeah, so it's now, I, I deleted it and the, the formula is looking at the full set of data. But, you know, we have some data in here that we don't want. So I can also remove data pretty easily since I have this master spreadsheet with everybody in it. So I can just click the data I want to remove and click delete. Click the row I want to remove, right click and go to delete. So now if I want to remove a subject, it's actually really easy to do. Um, so obviously I just did it with the you know fake subjects that I put in that weren't real subjects. I deleted their data. But let's say I want people that only have full data sets. So subject 19 here is missing their FMD data. They have the rest of the data, but they're missing their FMD data. So let's say I want only full data sets. I can go, I can highlight 19 and right click it. And I can click delete. And now I have the data set that I want with only the people who have the full data sets. Now, of course, I don't, I don't want to do that right now, so I'm going to hit Control z to undo that. Um, and you should always copy your, your data set before you start deleting people's data so that you don't accidentally lose data sets completely. Um, but it's pretty easy to add or subtract people from your data set with the formulas built in, as long as you know that you need to add the formula or add the data within the groups, not at the end of the groups.